Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's the first time out in absolutely weeks. Um, mainly due to the weather, because the weather has been rubbish. Uh, it's just rain, rain, and more rain. Um, I've also had a bit of an issue uh, with my uh, GoPro camera. It's working a bit intermittently, so I can't afford to change it just at the moment. So I'm just gonna have to make do with it as it is at the moment. So we'll see how we get on with that. Um, the forecast today is for showers. So there's some bit of weather coming in behind me. So I'm gonna take shelter in the, in the car until, until that passes uh, and then make my way um, up to the top of the hill uh, up here. And uh, the wind isn't as strong as it was forecast. So um, it, was, it was going to be sort of mid-teens. So I was guessing at the top of the slope, it'd probably be around 18 to 20, something like that. But it's always very deceptive down here. Um, so we can get, it can, you can feel like you've got no wind here at all. And on the top, there's plenty of wind to fly. We'll see how, we're, how we are when we get up there. Um, other thing is the cows are back. So um, they are, down further along the, the, the track down here, along the, the road. Um, and uh, so I'm keeping well away from them. I'm gonna take a different route up because they're just going to turn the ground here into a boggy mess for sure, just like, it, like last year. But uh, let's get the models out of the car and take a wander once this rain shower has passed.
I think I'm gonna bring it in before that big black stuff comes in. Yeah, I know. I'm just looking at that now. I've got another batch coming in from over towards from um, Village Church. <laughs> so back at the car uh, we weren't up there very long rain showers were coming in thick and fast uh, there was hail mixed in with the rain as well wind was good 15 to 80 mile an hour although because it's damp the air was feeling a bit sluggish and I was expecting the model to travel a bit faster but no it wasn't uh, Josh <laughs> He won't thank me for saying this. Left his transmitter at home. We've all done it. I've done it. I bet many of you have done it as well. Got to the slope or the flying field and uh, thought, oh, I've left the transmitter at home. He did it today. Anyway, he had a bit of a fly on mine. But uh, we decided to make a move back. It is pretty muddy. The path up to the, the top of the slope is really muddy so much so that it was raining again when i was dismantling the model and just to be a bit quicker i, just, I threw the fuselage in my bag with the uh, the tail plane or horizontal stabilizer as you americans call it um uh, still attached coming down the path i slipped on the mud and uh josh said oh it's okay the model's fine <laughs> i was oh great but I can see it has, there has been a bit of a knock. It, it's nothing really. It'll take moments to repair, I think. So that'll be, that'll be good. Is this Josh coming now? Oh, here he is. <laughs> Cheers, mate. See ya. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, short but sweet session. Uh, hopefully. Next weekend, we might have a bit of a dry weather. That would be really nice because flying days in December are going to be short. I think I've got one free weekend in December because I've got a lot of family to visit before Christmas and stuff like that. So uh, it's going to be a bit difficult to get out flying. So fingers crossed for next weekend. I hope that you've enjoyed seeing the short video from today. Uh, if so, uh, please give it the thumbs up. Uh, Subscribe to my channel if you already haven't and until the next time, happy flying! <laughs>